girls here, but only one of them is my best friend. We are cousins that have grown up together, but the only way I'm gonna figure out which one she is is by asking them questions, challenges, and eliminating them using these buttons right here. And we're starting with roasting. That's right, wanna be Maddie's? Go ahead and roast me. You're so dumb, your two year old daughter is smarter than you. She might be smarter than me, but my best friend knows that my daughter just turned one. Eliminated! Punishment! Chalk ball attack! Throw it! These masks have built in voice changers, so I won't be able to recognize her voice. Two! If your hair was any shorter, you'd be bald. Does this girl even know who I am? Eliminated! Punishment! Number two, get ready for an expired cheese hurricane! gonna get even worse. I gave hints to the other girls to make it harder for Rebecca. We got you. What's with the long face? That might be Maddie. Three stays. You're so weak, a 10 year old could beat you up. Oh really? <laughs> that 10 year old was strong. Four stays. You're so quiet, nobody ever knows what you're saying. There is no way Maddie thinks I'm quiet. Eliminated. To the candy store. Pinocchio would be jealous with how big your nose is. He could be Maddie. Being pigeon toed isn't the reason you aren't on dance, mom. It's because you're a really, really bad dancer. None of that's true! They say that beauty's on the inside. You better hope that's true. Burn! Wow, Maddie does have some good one-liners though. Eight stays! If you're here, then who's scaring away the crows from our crops? Uh, Maddie has crop dusted me before. Nine stays. You have so many gaps in your teeth, it looks like your tongue's in jail. Maddie knows I wear my retainers every night since high school. Eliminated. To the bathroom. There you go, number 10. Your face makes onions cry. <gasps> Maddie hates onions, so. 11 stays. I don't want to be mean, but even my hair straightener is hotter than you. Ooh, that could be a big burn, and that could be her. 12 stays. I love what you did with your hair. Oh, thanks. How'd you get it to come out of your nostrils? What? Nose, but could someone please get my husband a nose hair trimmer? Eliminated. Candy store. The zoo called. They want to know how you got out of your cage. Maddie does make fun of me when I get stuck in dog cages. Roses are red, violets are blue. Roses are pretty, but what happened to you? Oh, biggest cousin burn ever! You don't need to worry about me. You need to worry about your eyebrows. Everyone knows Maddie's had one eyebrow before, not me. Eliminated. I'm no astronomer, but the world revolves around the sun, not you. Duh! Everyone knows it revolves around Zadie. If zombies are brain eaters, then you'd be safe. I don't get it, but that sounds like something Maddie would say. Somewhere out there, there's a tree producing oxygen for you. What a shame. Maddie likes science. And math! That could be her. You're not simply a drama queen, you're the whole royal family. Thank you! If I can't guess my best friend correctly, then she gets my pink Jeep. But if I guess right, she gets slime. Let's move on to some trivia. When is my birthday? September 28th. She could have Googled that. Where did I grow up? Martinez. Maddie would know that she grew up with me. How many subscribers do I have? Over 13 million. That's correct, but I really want to hit 14 million by June, so if you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now. Turn on notifications, click all, and comment below which one you think is my best friend, Maddie. What's my favorite meal to cook? Pasta. Eliminated? That's a trick question. My best friend knows I can't oh. cook. You're heading to the candy store. What's my favorite dance move? The worm. Come on, don't fool. Get out of here with that dance move, Rebecca. Am I a morning or night person? Morning person. I'm a night person. I like to party. Just kidding. Morning person. What's my husband's name? Ma oh, whatever, Maddie. I could have probably picked a better one. What's my favorite nail color? Bunny bunny. Nailed it. What's my favorite soda? Pepsi. Are you kidding me? Everyone knows I like Coke in a glass bottle. Looks like you're heading to the bathroom. Number 15, what, so what's my favorite animal? Dog. Why do I keep asking easy questions? What are my dog's names? Blackjack and peanut butter? There's no butter in the peanut. <laughs> Eliminated. Who's my favorite Disney princess? Elsa. That's right, we love a strong independent queen. What is my favorite pizza topping? Pineapple. Who put fruit on a pizza? Disgusting. Take your pineapple to the bathroom. Should never be on a pizza. What's my real hair color? Brown. Correct. Now that that's over, it's time to give the eliminated girls a punishment. This is the part I've been waiting for. Time for a little itching powder, girls. They're officially eliminated now. 
now, time to get to the bathroom. They're gonna get a little wet with this punishment. Eliminated. We've narrowed it down to 10 girls, and now it's time for me to meet them in person. Last year, Maddie had to focus on school to graduate, and between that and me becoming a mom, we really didn't get to see much of each other. And now that she's back, she's worried that our time apart has ruined our friendship. But I want to prove to her that even though friendship goes through different chapters of life, it doesn't change the bond that we have. know what to do for this next round. I thought maybe you reveal a secret. Oh, I would definitely know who Maddie is. You know, kiss a crush. But instead, everyone's gonna drink milk. No! Maddie's lactose intolerant! Are you crazy? Exactly. Potential Maddie's, drink your milk. Oh, this is worse than smelling feet! Oh gosh, this is gonna be bad. It's time to smell your Maddie's. I can't let my lactose intolerance blow my cover, so I give everyone part spray. Number three! Oh! Oh, that's bad too! <laughs> Maddie's trailing to all of them! Ah, why is it so bad? Maddie, how much did you drink? 11, uh, 12, 15. <laughs> it all smells bad, Maddie. It's gotten worse. You have to choose someone to eliminate. Oh, it's so bad. But when I walked in, I went and walked by all of them, and there is one person that smelled like a certain scent that I know Maddie hates. She would never have this smell on her. That is lavender. Number 15, you are eliminated. Punishment. This is the chicken feet slap. Oh, wasn't that bad. Oh, yeah? Here you go. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chicken feet, dog! Get out of here, eliminated. Are you confident in your decision? Yes, I am confident. That was not Maddie, and Maddie is still in here. But for now, you guys go ahead and take a 10 minute break because I need to use the bathroom. Break it up. You heard her, get out of here! It's true that I'm going to the bathroom, but I'm going in there to do something else. Yo, 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 it's Braxton, Rebecca's longtime childhood friend. Okay, you guys, last time I went in disguise as an old lady and it helped me figure out who Matt was and who Matt wasn't. And I'm hoping with this cute boy disguise that I'm gonna figure out who Maddie is. So, uh, yo, 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 Braxton's about to pick up on some ladies. What's going on, ladies? Who are you? Braxton, but you could call me Braxton. <laughs> You look really unique with that blonde hair. Oh, thanks. Where are you from? Your wildest dreams. Oh, this is something from my diary. Oh, ladies, let me just uh, do a little workout for you. Oh, look at those muscles. Oh. You look good, but you look better with me. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. I like the flannel Braxton. I wonder if he has a brother. Oh, the milk is still not settling. I was thinking we could all go out on a group date, you know. Why don't you just get out of here? Can't you tell no one likes you? Actually, everyone likes Braxton. Just go away! Oh, really? Oh, you're gonna hit a girl, Braxton? Oh my oh, god! I'll hit what, what I want! want. Hey, hey, split up, split up! What is hey, going on right now? I'm telling Rebecca to eliminate number 12! It doesn't work like that! Oh. You're eliminated. Get out of here, number 12. And I heard Rebecca's gonna no, take no, care no, of no, the punishment! Enough! Ugh. This is what you get for punching my longtime childhood friend in the left ear! Yeah, well, you tell Braxton his face is long and ugly. What? I can't hear you. Drink this chili powder coffee! All of it! Oh, I'm sorry. You're taking a little too long! <laughs> That's right! Get out of here! Braxton's still mad at you! What did she say? You need to go upstairs. Get out of here! Hairs? No. Upstairs! I eliminated two more girls, but I'm still not sure which one Maddie is. And obviously, I don't want to give away my pink Jeep, but more importantly, I want to show Maddie how strong our bond is. And I am bringing in a special guest for this next round, and let's just say she knows her auntie. One thing I love about my best friend is how much she cares for my daughter Zadie. Each of them have to prepare a meal for Zadie, and if Zadie likes it, you're in. But if she doesn't, you're eliminated. Zadie, are you hungry? Do you want more? Oh, you guys, that's more. Zadie's hungry and ready to roll. Number three, come on up. What are you preparing for Zadie? Mashed potatoes. Do you want some? I think she wants some. Is it good? Num, num, num. Okay, number three, you're moving on. Let her eat everything. Okay. What do you have for Zadie? Trace away, JK. Zadie did have her first birthday party and we found out she does love cake. You like it? Zadie definitely likes the cake. She's like her mom. She loves sweets. Are you kidding me? These are sweets. What do you have? Avocado. Oh, here we go. Zadie's an independent baby. She wants the whole avocado. Okay, number six, you pass. Really? Are you kidding me right now? What? She's, Zadie, she's, I'm sorry, but this is crazy. I gotta do what I gotta do. Number eight, come on forward. Sweet potato. Okay, Zadie, sweet potato baby food. Mmm. Ah! Only one bite, but you passed number eight, okay? She ate it. Baby food's not that good. This is going weird. 
I think she wanted more. This is honey. For my daughter Zadie, and you think you're the real Maddie? Are you crazy? Babies cannot have honey. I just saved your life. Maddie hates pickles, but this is a kitty litter pickle, so enjoy. Eat it! Ow! Ow! Yep, Ugh. so is the way you're acting. Get out of here. We better find Maddie soon. Delicious crumble eggs. Whoa, 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 whoa. These are eggs, but Zadie only eats egg whites and she does not do pepper, so you know what I'm oh. Stop, stop, stop. It's eliminated. Don't need to throw a plate. Punishment! You're not Maddie, so you probably don't know what fire ants are, but you will now. Oh, oh, oh. Enjoy that. Banana puff. How do we feel about these? Do you think mom should have a little bit too? I don't think she's going to like them because she's not a big. Oh, she just. Are we sure about this though? What I'm sure about is the portions. Are you guys kidding me? She's eating everything. I didn't know you liked bananas. And number 20. Hello. Zadie does know how to sit from a straw. Oh, you pass. Thanks, Zadie, for your help. Do you know who Maddie is? <gasps> yeah, I don't know either. For this next challenge, I do not want Maddie. Interfering at all, so have a seat, Matt. There we go. Noise canceling headphones. Uh, what? Exactly. And there we go. Perfect! I can't hear or see anything. I'm stuck to a chair. All right, ladies, everyone, grab an item from the trash can. Anybody know how to pick a lock here? Hurry up, don't be shy. Now, Zam Fam, one of the things Maddie does is hit Matt unexpectedly. So I'm gonna have each of these girls hit Matt, and we're gonna see which one Maddie is. We'll start with number three. What was that? Number four. Ow! Ow! That could be Maddie. I think something's going wrong here, guys. I'm getting hit by things. I'm Number stuck. Number six. Ow! Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Hey! Okay! Whoa! Number eight. Rebecca, what's happening? I don't think this Ow! Oh! What? That's not so bad. Stop! Hey! Hey! It's kind of annoying. Good? What just happened? No, this is not a pregnancy reveal, but I need to find out who Maddie is, so I may have taken something of hers. We're gonna get these Maddies to spill some tea. For this next round, my best friend has a diary, and I have it right here. And I know that my best friend Maddie knows everything that is in this diary. So, I'm gonna have all of you guys quote something from this diary. Don't tell Rebecca, but I texted them what to say from my diary. Let's start with contestant number three. I just went on the best date ever, but it was at McDonald's. That could be Maddie. I mean, she would go on a date even though she does hate McDonald's. Contestant number four. Should I quit YouTube to get my teaching credentials? No! I mean, have a seat, number four. Sam Fam, you know Maddie might become a teacher and I do not want her leaving YouTube. That could be her. Maddie's eyes only, stay out. Yeah, I think I've read that page in her diary before. Eating sushi off a shirtless boy with a six pack. I know for a fact that Maddie wrote that when I surprised her with 24 gifts in 24 hours. I still can't believe that I got my first kiss after my 100 dates. Okay, Sam Fam, she got a first kiss on 100 dates, but maybe someone watched my YouTube video. Take Sean Mendes, take home to mom. How does everyone know her diary? Did she post it online or something? Everyone's gone, who are you eliminating? I have to think about it for a sec. That didn't go as planned. I'll be upstairs. Yeah, go upstairs. Now everybody empty your pockets, now! Empty it. I see a phone there too, put it there. Come on, I don't have all day. Hurry along, come on, come on. Oh. You guys didn't see that. Oh no. Using Maddie's diary would be an easy reveal to find out who the real Maddie is, but all of them had right answers, and I know I have to eliminate someone, but I don't know which girl I'm going to choose. This is a lot harder than I thought. I got some clues. Why is it all mixed together? That's the problem. Explain to me what exactly this is. I had everybody empty the pockets. But it's all over. I tripped and fell, and I don't know who's is who's. There's a poppet, Zampium lip gloss. A lot of lipstick. Okay, this could definitely be Maddie, but we don't know which number it is. This is a positive pregnancy test. Is that Maddie? We don't know who's is who's, but Maybe one of these will be the right clue to figure out which one Maddie is. And oh, this is Maddie's phone case. I have an idea for the next challenge. I just need to call someone. Who was our last call? Be right back. Some of these notes are super disturbing. After you guys emptied your pockets, there were a lot of sus 
things that made me think that some of you are Maddie, but there is one thing that I know very well, and that is Maddie's phone case and her screensaver. So I'm going to be asking you guys questions based on what is on her phone, and if you get it wrong, you are eliminated. Maddie number three, what was your last text? OMG, you're so funny. I love it when you call me loca. Maddie doesn't know Spanish very well, and neither do I, but he seems to call her that a lot, so that could be her. Okay, Maddie number four, how many dating apps do you have? Four. I would have thought more. Maddie number six, what is the last photo on your camera roll? My dog Mia. Conveniently, I knew your password and I have access to your camera roll. It's not Mia, it is you and Javier and I'm pretty sure you photoshopped that from Titanic. You're eliminated. And that's embarrassing. Punishment! Get ready for some slime dodgeball! Really, Matt? Thank you guys for helping me on that one, but now it's time to get back to business. Maddie, number eight, please stand up. Who is the last person you haven't texted back? You. She would be mad, yes, and why don't you text me back? I know you're texting someone. Why aren't you responding to my text? Maybe if I was a boy. Maddie, number 18, who's the last person that called you? My mom. Maddie and her mom are pretty close. And finally, Maddie, number 20, who is the last person that you called? Javier. That is correct, and it looks like you called him 13 times and he did not call you back. Oh, it looks like it's time for the next challenge. For this next round, I've brought in two special guests. Boys, come on in. Here, this way, this way, there. One thing I know about Maddie is she knows abs. She's obsessed with them, talks about them all the time, especially when it comes to her crush. So, each of you girls has to touch each of their abs, and then you're gonna decide which one is your crush. Maddie number three, come on up, boys. Show off those abs. Oh, oh no, this is hard. Well, it's hard and you're gonna have to think about it sitting down. Maddie number four, come on up. Okay, let me feel a little bit more. Okay, 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 okay. We well, gotta keep it fair for people. Sorry about that. Ooh, ow, oh, cut oh. me. Oh, man, tough critic there. Oh, that's not too shabby. We have a time limit, let's let's go. Oh yeah, could definitely eat a wheel of cheese off of those apps. Uh, but you probably shouldn't, because if you are Maddie, the dairy thing doesn't work. I've already had sushi off these apps, so I think gone now. Okay. Sam Pam, did you hear that? She said she had sushi off someone's abs, and you guys know Maddie has done that. Now it's time for you to pick your crush. On the count of three, you need to point to the one you think is Maddie's crush. One, two, three, point! I saw four of you guys pointed to these abs right here. This was Javier, Maddie's crush. She's the other hottie. The other hottie, well, the second one is. <gasps> that was so embarrassing. Where'd you get those abs? Don't you worry about that. I'm sorry, number eight, but you're eliminated, which means punishment. Wasn't that punishment enough? Sorry, girl, you gotta do it. Okay. I need you for one more part of this challenge. You can have a quesadilla later. Right now, I need to figure out who my best friend is. Each person needs to hug Javier. Go ahead. Okay. Nice hug, okay. I'm hoping Javier can give me some insight. Oh, oh that's a really, oh, oh. She was really strong. A lot of them are. Oh, she's even stronger. Oh. Okay. Javier, you hugged all of them. Are there any clues or signs you got to reveal which one is Maddie? A lot of them could be because they hugged really strong, but okay. definitely one wasn't. Number three, because she hugged me really softly. And Maddie doesn't do that? No, definitely not. She's always super aggressive. I'm gonna trust you on this one. After speaking with Javier, I might not know exactly who Maddie is, but I know who Maddie isn't, and that is number three. You are eliminated. Punishment. Let's pickle juice these girls. <laughs> You might have eliminated Maddie just now. Oh no. Maddie and I always do TikToks together and I'm really hoping this challenge will help me figure out which one Maddie is. And I really hope I didn't eliminate her with the pickle juice because I don't want to lose my pink cheek. We are now down to the final three. You three will have one minute to learn this TikTok right here and then perform it with me. Good luck. I love TikTok. Me too. Me three. The only reason I'm helping Rebecca is because I want Maddie to get slime. Time is up and it is time for all of us to do a TikTok. Nice job, 420 and 18. 
Okay, now let me watch this TikTok. Not bad. After watching this TikTok dance, I would say that all of you guys did a really good job. And you guys should go check out that TikTok. But one of you guys didn't do something that the other two did. And my cousin Maddie always does this when she starts something. And that is jump. And number 20, you did not jump at the beginning of the TikTok. But because there is a chance you could be Maddie, you have a chance to redeem yourself by naming a TikTok that you and I have done. The Gritty. No. Eliminated. Punishment. The Gritty, huh? No. You just got tased. Oh, God. It all comes down to this to see if Maddie and I still have that best friend bond or if me becoming a mom and her focusing on school has forced us to grow apart. And I'm really hoping I make the right decision. You're down to your final two, how do you feel? I'm nervous, I'm not sure if I even eliminated Maddie, but I'm really hoping that she's in the final two. Well this is the speed round, you have one minute to ask each girl seven questions, so every question counts. Okay. Good luck. I hope I can get this, otherwise she gets my Jeep. Number 18. Number four, name three of your past or current crushes. Ben Asler, Javier, and Isaac, but Isaac's mostly a friend. Or is he? Javier, Big Sean Mendez, and DTC. DTC? What do I do that embarrasses you the most? When you dance in public, especially the worm. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you always cause a scene and get a cute boy's attention for me. That's what cousins do. When and where was the last time we went on vacation together? In February, we went to Big Bear. In January, we went to Big Bear. What is your biggest accomplishment? Graduating and applying to get my teaching credential. Graduating college. What is your favorite memory of us? Probably going to Hawaii together. I love Hawaii. When we went to Big Bear and we were skiing and sledding together. Why have you chosen me as your best friend? Through all the highs and all the lows, you're always there for me. Because we're cousins. We've been best friends forever. What's your favorite quote to describe us? Family is everything. Cousins by chance, best friends by choice. Thank you, 18. Thank you, number four. It is time to make your final decision on who your best friend is. Remember, if you get it right, Maddie gets slimed. But if you get it wrong, she gets your Jeep. Good luck. Number four, number 18, you both had very similar answers and it's been very close this whole time, but there are a couple things in the answers that made me think that one is Maddie and the other one isn't. Both of you guys said I went to Big Bear, but you said two different months. And then the second thing was the quote. There's one person that summarized our friendship in one quote and that was, family is everything. So I'm sorry, number four, I'm going to have to eliminate you. You've made your final decision, so number 18, remove your mask. It doesn't matter how far apart we are or how long we go without seeing each other. Our bond is so strong that when we get back together, it's like nothing has ever changed. Yeah. <laughs> and the quote, family is everything. Okay, that's cute and everything, but Maddie, it's time to get slimed. Maddie, are you ready? Even though I really wanted your Jeep, knowing that we really are best friends is worth getting slimed. Three, two, Timer! <laughs> Where's the slime? Someone has to get slimed. I'm gonna let you have the keys to my Jeep. Really? Right, day. I have to text Javier. Click and watch this video right here. Do it now or I'm gonna slime you also. What is happening?